Today, my granddad said a very funny thing. He was checking his bank and he said, Ah, oh, compound interest. I love it. You love paying interest? I asked. Oh no, not paying interest. I love receiving interest on my savings. He chuckled. Oh, that does sound good. But what is compound interest? This sounded interesting. Get it? Interest? Interesting? <laughs> My granddad laughed and said, Compound interest is interest on interest. Huh? That sounded a bit weird to me. He explained, Compound interest helps your money increase over time and your money will grow at a faster pace than just plain old simple interest. Let me give you an example, he said. If you have £1,000 and you find a very generous bank that will give you 10% compound interest in the first year, your money will be worth £1,100. My granddad saw my puzzled expression and explained a bit more. Well, 10% of £1,000 is £100. So add it together and that means you have £1,100 in the bank. But here is the interesting part. <laughs> The next year you have 1,100 in the bank and so you get 10% interest on the original 1,000 and the 100 interest you made last year. So this year you get 10% of 1,100 pounds. Basically the original amount and any interest you earned. Oh, now I get it. I laughed. <laughs> interest on interest. So does that mean you actually now have £1,210? That's it exactly. My granddad chuckled. <laughs> hmm, I had an idea. So if I saved some pocket money and didn't take any out of the bank, for a long time, it would be worth a lot more than what I put in, I asked. Correct, Grandad said. It is important that you take note of the different interest rates that banks are giving you, so you can find a good rate. What does a good rate mean, I asked. Great question, Jamal, my Grandad said. There are different types of savings accounts, like a bank account. This usually only gives a small amount of interest, but is very low risk. Hmm, so that won't make as much money, I said. Correct. If you are saving for the longer term, like a deposit for your house to go to university, or even for your retirement, like me, then you can look at investing your money in growing companies and funds. The interest is higher, but so is the risk. Hmm, maybe you could help me look at these, Grandad, I said. I certainly can. It is all about risk and reward, but that is for another day. Then he sent me a challenge. Think of my example. If you kept up £1,000 in the bank for 10 years, what would it be worth? if you had a compound interest rate of 10% per year. Hmm, I thought, I will have to get my thinking cap on. I will see you soon. I have some calculations to do.